why we think it's the end in times. Anyway, I hope we're right about this Friday. Actually, maybe it shouldn't happen. Melanie and Eddie probably won't receive the letters until Friday, and they won't have time to read the letters if the rapture takes place around 3 o'clock. Maybe, just maybe, there will be time. If God is merciful, he will not let the rapture take place this Friday, so my, my friends can read my letter, become saved, and then when the rapture does take place, they can get out of the tribu they won't they won't go through the tribulation. So maybe the rapture will take place if God's merciful there. Anyway, my faith in the rapture taking place this Friday seems to be fading. Even my parents don't think anything is going to happen either, as much as they want it. So I think it's psychological because if we really thought it was going to take place and nothing happened, we'd be depressed as hell. I also sent a copy of my theories to the Russian girl, Dina, in the hopes that her dad might see something important in it. Dina is a really cute Russian girl that I find very attractive. She's very intelligent and nice also. Who knows, my words and thoughts may end up being broadcast all over Russia, in Russian, on Dina's dad's underground Christian radio station. I guess stranger things have happened. Who knows? If Dina's dad does broadcast this to Russia in Russia, in Russian, who knows how it may, will affect the world, especially if the Soviets listen to it. They might get scared and go, Oh, you know, ski. <laughs> anyway, me and my parents think Reagan blew it at the Iceland summit by not letting, by not getting rid of SDI. If he did, he would have gone down, if he did get rid of SDI and did what the Soviets wanted, he would have gone down in history for saving the world because we believe the Soviets were actually willing to get rid of missiles in exchange for Star Wars. If Reagan keeps on refusing the Soviets' deal, we think he'll get Gorby's finger might itchy for pressing the button. But, so far, everything is going along perfectly with our theory about Reagan being the Antichrist and the effect that the Antichrist will worship the God of Forces, SDI, Star Wars. If he decided to give up Star Wars, SDI, it would have weakened that part of our theory of him being the Antichrist and worshiping forces. New things have come up. New things have come up. And our theories about the Tribulation have changed again. So radical has the change come about that it has changed the story of my science fiction script. We used to believe, like everyone else, that after the rapture, a computer system was going to be set up where everyone would end up wearing their credit card under their right hand or forehead. And it seems like that may still come about. However, this is really stupid if you think about it in relation to Bible prophecy, especially if there is a nuclear war, because all computer systems will be shorted out and destroyed, being that most of them are located in our, in our large cities, which would be ground zero targets in a nuclear war with the USSR. The idea of a computerized beast system is illogical and ridiculous. It's out. That theory is out. We then realized a terrifying thing. When we realized this, walk-ins will make the 666, the 666 system after the nuclear war. Walk-ins will be in charge of the food, and there won't be any little centers which you get tattooed with a 666 mark. You can use a regular ink pen to bring on your own damnation. Walk-ins won't really k kill people, only if they refuse damnation for food and decide to be martyred for God. After the nuclear war, money and the material things will mean nothing. Food will be the item, and only the walk-ins will have it. 
they will say, the only way you can have food and keep from starving is to put a 666 on your hand or forehead. All you need is a pen. If not, starve to death. We can wait because we can't die. You can. The 666 system isn't going to be computerized. It's going to be purely satanic and literal. It will all come down to this for the people in the tribulation. Who do you love more? Your growling stomach or God? Realizing that we finally found, realizing that we finally found a logical answer to the 666 problem, and not the illogical and stupid idea about having a credit card on your hand or forehead after the bombs go off, gave me the desire to warn my atheist friends. Hopefully, I didn't make a fool of myself, and hopefully, they will take what I say seriously and won't think I'm insane. Over and out, Bruce Ramsey. And anyway, that's all I have to say for now. Over now. Bye bye. You may not see me again. If the rapture takes place tomorrow, <laughs> which I hope it does. God, I hope it ta takes place. You'll never see another continuation of this videotape. This will be it. I hope and pray. Bye-bye. <laughs> and, um, anyway, you Watkins can tear up this videotape, you can get rid of it, you can burn it, I don't care. God will play it back on a better TV during the Judgment Day. Maybe. Hopefully. Whatever. Bye-bye. This is Bruce Ramsey. The date today is December 12th, 2022. I got out of acting. I'm no longer a Christian. I'm an atheist now, and I have a lot to report about to you which I think you might find interesting. Then again, you may not. I kind of quit writing my journal after millions of rapture dates came and left, but I don't know, maybe you'll like it. The United States is living peacefully with Russia. Uh, the Jews finally left Israel. Palestine is occupying it now. Everything, they're all living happily ever after, and I'm an atheist now. Oh well. Mom and Dad went crazy when no rapture took place with the year 2000, and I'm 62. I'm wearing a toupee, coloring my beard black. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's really the year 2000, and, uh, no, it's the year, uh, 1986 um, still, and, uh, it's December, December 18th, 1986, because tomorrow is my grandma's 80th birthday, she'll be, yeah, that's the 19th tomorrow. And if you want to know the truth, uh, I 
I will. Maybe tomorrow, because tomorrow is the age of Aquarius. Maybe that is the day the rapture will take place. Or December 31st. Or never. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm writing a powerful new script. It's really good. It's called The walk -in. I already told you about that, but it's, it's really good. And, uh, well, and it's promising. I have that, and maybe, maybe the rapture will take place. I don't think so, but it might. So that kind of keeps me going, too. Anyway, I have a lot to catch up to, catch up on here. I've written a lot since the... I, I, I kind of quit, quit kind of, I quit trying to build myself up because, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just too lazy. I don't like force feeding myself. So I kind of fell through. Okay. October 20th, 1986. Past 12 midnight. Monday, Friday morning. Well, no rapture, of course, and here I sit on my bed, writing in this journal again, with my pen about to run out of ink. Since no rapture has occurred, I'm going to go great guns on my scripts. I have a feeling that no rapture is going to ever occur. Anyway, I'm not totally depressed. My parents bought me a $300 camera for modeling, plus... It's a timer, so I can do some animation, which should be fun. I can film my body as I develop it. What else? I and my family went to Sacramento Saturday, after our disappointment Friday. We went down to meet the Unitarian Potluck group at Grandma's. It was in Sacramento that I talked to Melanie on the phone and asked her what she thought of my letter. She thought that it... She thought, well, well, what she thought of my letters. She thought they were insane, of course. So, oh well, she's still the same. Kevin and Myron read my letter and sent, read my letter I sent to my friends and they think that I and the rest of my family may be going insane. They became embarrassed for me as I Well, they became embarrassed for me as my mom read my biblical theor theoretical comments in relation to the Bible and what's happening in the world. So, you know, oh well. Oh well, maybe I, maybe I am insane. If there is a God and he wants you to be made a fool out of yourself. It, and he wants you to be made a fool out of yourself. For his sake, so be it. At least I can finally say that I'll feel good whenever my faith in God is increased. Because I tried to I tried to uh, get Melanie and Eddie to see the light and Laura Ward and Dina Latikoff. Saturday night, Amira came over to my grandma's with prisoner episodes that he wanted to tape, but I decided, but I didn't bring my VCR down, so Melanie let us use hers. I must say this, Melanie was looking very pretty to me when I saw her last weekend. It was brief, but what I saw of her, she looked a lot prettier. Anyway, the prisoner was dull and intellectual, and what else? Well, that's really all I have to report. I did have a good time with my family in Sacramento, and I'm very grateful for the camera my parents bought me. If nothing ever spectacular ever takes place in my life, at least I might have some great pictures to show. 
hopefully. P.S. I forgot to call the cute Russian girl to see what she thought of my insane biblical ideas. Over and out for strategy. October 23rd, 1986. Thursday night. 